Hi, you're watching Wink Sound, and in this video you'll learn how to quantize MIDI in GarageBand. Quantization is usually applied to MIDI when the MIDI is played, recorded, and doesn't stick to the grid. So maybe your kick or your snare or your hi-hat or some element is a bit off in time. Quantization takes your MIDI notes and applies them strictly to the grid. To demonstrate, we'll record a drum part. I'll use the shortcut Shift-Command-K to bring up the musical typing keyboard. I've selected a two-step remix drum kit. Let's record a performance. Now we've recorded drums. If we zoom into the MIDI, you'll see that some notes aren't exactly on the grid. Let's listen to this playback. You could feel how the drums sort of skip a beat every now and then. So to quantize these MIDI notes, you'll highlight them, and on the lower left-hand side of your screen, you'll find the drop-down menu. And these are quantization values. So if I hit 1 16th notes, it's going to align all of the MIDI notes to the closest 16th note value on the grid. Let's listen to the playback now. Now the drums are in time. If you have any questions on GarageBand or any other music production software, hit us up on Twitter, at WinkSound. Join the conversation by following Wink Sound on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube to keep up with everything you need to know about music and audio technology.